Really, that's it? Th that's it! Holy shit, what about those cats that were around you at the start of the game? What about the state of the world? What about everything, man? Like... I've seen some disappointing endings in my life, but this one is over the top, man. Holy shit. Come on! Holy shit! I can't freaking believe it how disappointing it is at the end. So fucking disappointing, I, I got no words. <laughs> no explanation, nothing, man. Was it a nuke? What was it? Was it a plague? What happened with the world? What happened with those robots? What happened with Cat? What happened with all of those cats around you at the start of the game? The game literally ends with two pigeons around you. Alright, uh, I did a review for every game, I'll do it for this one also. Stray. For 2022. An adventure game. Pitting for all ages. Mostly for women. Let's... Let's do it with a story first. A cat that you're playing with. This orange cat. It drops down into a hole. And you discover there's the entire city of robots in the hole. Or better to say, in a vault. Alright, now was it a nuclear blast? Was it a plague? It doesn't matter, something happened with the Earth. And now, you are trying to find your way back up. Okay. That's, that's, that's the entire story. Straight. A cat trying to survive in a probably post-apocalyptic world, plagued with robots. Um, the writing is, I let's call it, it, it ain't good, it ain't bad, it, it's mediocre writing. But what's wrong aside from the ending that's absolutely disgusting because it explains nothing what happened with cat what happened with other cats at the start of the game what happened with robots and what's the state of the earth in this timeline nothing is explained okay one huge hole the same one that you dropped in that's the ending uh, what the main issue that I have with a game 
it's fucking depressing, okay? Everything about it is depressing. It's like it was made for women and depressed people, man. I I'm not that type, right? This is a highly depressive game, and if someone can speak about the game with cats inside the game, I can speak about it, because I got 11 cats, okay? And they're all maniacs that make you happy, not fucking depressive. And this is a depressive game about a cat. Complete opposite of what the cat represents is this game. None of my cats acts like this cat. Okay. Um. God damn it, the story is bad. Okay, it's just bad. Bad. 3 out of 10. Bugs and optimization. For me, the game worked well. There were no loading screens at all. From time to time, it could stutter. I, I don't know why. It happens like once in uh, 20 minutes, a short 2 second stutter, and that's about it. Frame rates are good. I, I played on the highest settings. No glitches. Sometimes an occasional bug can happen when you decide to jump and so on. But it's a game with simple mechanics, so it would be stupid that it has bugs. It ain't perfect. It's close to being perfect in performance. 9 out of 10. Game time. It took me five, five hours and 30 minutes or so to finish the game. Extremely short game with zero replay value and hilarious price. Also very, very expensive. I, I wouldn't recommend anyone this stupid game like five to ten bucks optimal okay everything above ten bucks is a disaster there is no replay value it's an extremely short adventure where 50 percent of your time is wasted on roaming around okay trying to find a stupid key or a, i don't know a card or so on so you can pass to the next area or speaking with brain dead robots um Four out of ten. Considering the price, of course, would be higher if the price was lower. Game difficulty. There is no fucking difficulty. As I said, this is a game for women. This is a game for casual players. This game, even the puzzles are so bloody brain dead. Like, pull the plank down so you can pass. That's the puzzle. All right, talk, 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 talk to everyone until you grab a key. It's not even a puzzle. I don't know what it is. There were some glimpses of, of, of a challenge when, when you get chased by those worm in whatever the hell they are. Like this came straight, straight from Half-Life. But... That, that's about it. There, there is no challenge. Uh, there is no difficulty. Just it, it's a it's an interactive movie, not a game. An interactive movie. Maps and graphics. One, two, three, four, four areas in the vault different areas one village sewers where those things are i don't even know what they are there's the horror element of the game by the way when you get chased by them uh the city then the jail and the final part when you get to escape the vault everything is dark even the cat looks dark even though it's orange because that's how graphics are it is depressing story is depressing graphics are depressing music is depressing 
everything about this game screams of depression. Some highly depressive people made the game, okay? They're like... I've seen... Nothing in this five, six hours that made me smile, okay? Everything was a disaster, okay? Death and disaster. Um, as far as graphics go, they're mediocre, nothing special. For an indie game, they're fine, I guess. All maps look the same, no matter if you're in a village, in a city, in a sewer. At the top, the only time when when game actually looked well was in the first five minutes and at the ending cinematic when the sun showed up. That will be like six minutes of happiness and five hours of depressive colors and environment. Five out of ten. It doesn't stink. It's not good. Mediocre. Again, play. <laughs> um, as I said, I got eleven cats. I know what they're capable of. How, how far they can jump. Okay. How they act when they're hungry, when they're sleepy, when uh, I can talk for days about it. Okay, this cat doesn't act like that. Okay, this is a very limited cat in terms of what it can do. It can walk on planks and on air conditions to pass somewhere. But uh, aside from that, they added an option to meow and scratch. And that's about it. Cats. basically are at least a hundred times more nimble than the cat here in the game unless it's a very old 20 years old cat and that's how you can explain now what you do with a gameplay there are chase scenes two or three of them in total most of it is puzzling okay grab some item give it to someone that someone opens the door then you open the door for him then he opens the door for you then you open the door for him and that's how you advance from the bottom of the vault to the top where you need to escape you need zero brain to play this game controls are call it smooth on a gamepad I haven't tried playing with mouse and keyboard. Uh, now, you, you can say how this game is adventure. Okay, but if we talk about adventures, adventures are... Broken Sword, Monkey Island, even that porn laser suit Larry is adventure, and, and they rate this game as adventure. Uh, it's an interactive movie, it's not an adventure. In adventures, you actually need to use your brain. Here, you don't need to use your brain. So it's not an adventure, it's an interactive movie. And I'll say it again, it, it's a game made for like mega casual players and women. No matter how I like my cats, I love cats, okay? I have a lot of them. This game doesn't do justice to a cat at all. And that's my point of view. Because I know cats all too well. So. Gameplay. There is no gameplay. 2 out of 10 leveling and itemization uh, no experience gain, no sense of progress, no risk and reward nothing okay, simple UI where you can carry keys, paint, cards and you collect memories as you traverse the vault with your robot, where he remembers that once he was a human, 
but he doesn't tell you shit of what happened with the world, what happened with Earth, what happened with human, with people, with... You don't know a fucking thing. You play the game, you start and you finish, and you end up knowing nothing. Because the game just wants to be depressive, I guess, with zero explanation of what's actually happening. What's the year you are at? Okay. What's the state of the Earth? What's the state of humanity? Nothing. And it should be a past apocalyptic. Talking about only leveling and itemization, as I said, no progress, nothing at all. Same can be said about items. They're non-existent. It's like... Two out of ten. And we see the enemies. One enemy in a game. No, two enemies in a game. Patrolling robots and those disgusting things that came straight out from Half-Life, that horror element of the game. A shitload of NPCs, and when I say a shitload, that means a few hundred robots that are acting weird. Even they don't know what's happening, including you as a player, not to mention the cat. There are those chase scenes with enemies, and that, that's about it, that there's nothing, man, like, like the, there is nothing for me to talk about here, but there's nothing, the, the only good thing about this game is the main protagonist, or better to say, the cat, with that mini robot, but even that cat is not done well, it's just not. The okay. king. No! Oh, that's a big cat. For NPCs and enemies, they're wild now. It's 5 a.m. No, oh, that's a 10 kilograms cat. <laughs> um, man, it's so freaking hard for me to rate this game. I can't even call it a game because it's not. Three out of ten. Music and sound. Zero voice acting. Solid sound effects. Yeah. Sound effects, or better to say, meowing. I I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Let it. Music also. Depressing music. Forgettable music. Atmospheric music. I can't remember a single tune and I finished the game five minutes ago. Six out of ten. That's gonna be low. Six points. Exactly four out of ten. Or a stray. Below mediocre interactive movie. That's how I see it. Below mediocre. It ain't disgusting, okay? It's a, a mega bad. I consider games from 1 to 3 to be like a void, like plague. From 4 to, to 5 below mediocre, 5 to 6 above mediocre, 6 and onwards, solid, good, great, and so on. This is right where it belongs, below mediocre. 
they are like I don't know they're like at least 50 better adventures that you can play instead of stray and stray I guess it bought the audience because they got a cat <laughs> like I got a lot of cats it's enough for me in real life and they're all comedy they're there to make you happy this cat in stray is here to make you depress you just it's not how I see a cat I got 11 cats right now and I had more than a 50 cats and 10 dogs in my 35 years of life and this shit in stray is the most depressive cat I've seen in my life by far uh, for today it's 5 a.m. we're done Once Wrath of the Righteous comes out, that's the next stream, okay? Now that's the next stream, I finished everything I wanted. There's only soldiers left. I'm done with Bless Brigade today, I'm done with Stray. Can I uninstall this? I'm waiting for the patch on Samu Maeterna. I finished Shovel Knight also. Can uninstall that too. So 